Hello guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. This has been a very, very highly requested video, which is a week of workouts. I'm going to show you guys how I'm training at the moment. Granted, I also have just decided that I'm going to try and learn how to run. So that hasn't been an aspect of my training for very long at all. And as I'm filming this intro, I've only done two runs. So I can't really say like, oh... I'm a runner now. But I just wanted to bring you through kind of what a normal week looks like. My training is definitely a little bit all over the place at the moment. I'm probably training around four times a week at the moment. In an ideal world, it would be more like five to six just because I am on a cut right now and I really just want to improve my fitness all overall. I would love to be a little bit more fit. Not that I'm not fit. I just love to improve my cardiovascular fitness, learn how to run. If I could like kind of like low-key call myself a runner, my life would be complete. It's just always been a dream of mine to learn how to run be able to run a 5k in 30 minutes would be such a cool thing and then my ultimate dream would to be run a 10k i don't think i've ever run over 5k no that would be very cool who knows if this is gonna continue i kind of woke up one morning and i was like i'm gonna go for a run my program that i'm following is a train with soph program i'll leave the info down below but i love soph she's super knowledgeable i really trust her i really love her training style her glutes are phenomenal and i'm always looking for something that's a little bit more glute focused and i definitely think I've noticed a lot of results since kind of switching my training from more hit style training to more weight style training I've definitely noticed more muscle gain I'm not as fit as I was obviously because I'm not doing as much cardiovascular fitness but hopefully that'll change with the introduction of running but I've definitely noticed huge improvements with my glutes I think my upper body has definitely gained some muscle but I am kind of early in my cut haven't really been kicking it too hard into gear I don't know if I will or if I'm just gonna kind of keep it at this pace for a longer time we shall see but this video is not about the food it's about the training my split usually kind of looks like upper body lower body upper body lower body but let me just open up my app here so I kind of have a five-day training week give or take I usually chuck a rest day in between because I'm the type of person who likes to train on a Saturday and a Sunday it doesn't always happen sometimes I train three days a week sometimes I train five that's probably a better um, representation three to five days a week I usually train and typically my day one is legs so I'll do things like squats RDLs hip thrusts that type of thing and then day two is more more of my push days, day three, legs, day four, pull and then day five is legs with a little bit of cardio at the end also i do have a discount with train with so if you guys want to check any of her programs out she has a bunch of different ones ones that you can do at home the gym booty builders like so many and i do want to thank gymshark for sponsoring this video it is black friday season i always get questions asking if i have a discount code with gymshark they unfortunately don't do discount codes so this is pretty much their only time of year where you can get massive discounts so it's always very exciting i'm gonna be wearing gymshark throughout this video they're definitely the active wear that i gravitate towards more if I'm gonna be jumping around a lot and like sweating. I've currently got on the pause bralette, which is one of my favorite just like lounging around pieces. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna jump straight into me attempting to run for the first time this year. <laughs> and spoiler alert, it actually didn't go too badly, so. Good morning. I've decided that I wanna do more cardio because I really haven't been good about it lately. I really think that'll make a really good improvement on where I am in my cut, but I've said this time and time again that I wanna learn to run. I've never been a good runner. When I was younger, I was really good at sprinting, but I've never been a good long distance runner. And I've said time and time again, I wanna get into running. So hopefully this is the start, we'll see. But I'm kind of just, you know, running, walking, running, walking. I've got a stitch right now. These are the best shorts for running from Gymshark. I think they're called like the speed shorts or something. Holy shit. Hello, you're a big scary dog, but you're actually just a big baby. Charlie, your fur's sticking to my sweat. <laughs> oh, thanks. I know I'm all sweaty. Can you not lick me, please? I'm just gonna shut the door. Sorry, I'll be out in like two minutes. I'm sorry, Charlie. Even when I did my group fitness, anytime there was like a running segment, I would always dread it. And I always felt like I'd never really improved on it. One, because I obviously didn't practice it. The only way you can improve on something is by practicing. I'm still out of breath. I did not expect to run five kilometers, which I know is not that long for some people. But for me, that's a pretty big achievement. I did it in 41 minutes. <laughs> and I probably should stop comparing myself to like what other people can do. Cause I couldn't tell you the last time that I ran five kilometers. It wouldn't have been this year, that's for sure. Um, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did walk in parts of it, but I would say the majority of that I did run. I am 
very, very proud of myself, honestly. I think one thing that helped me is I definitely went really slow at the start to a point where I was like, I feel like a little bit ridiculous because I'm going so slowly. But I think that's where I tend to go wrong with running is I start out like way too fast. Even though it doesn't feel fast, it is fast. I think while I'm just kind of like learning how fast I can push myself, that's fine. But yeah, I think I thought I would do like two and a half Ks, three Ks max. And it got to two and a half and I was like, I could do that again. It's 6.53 right now, so I wanted to make sure that I woke up early because it does get so hot. I'm gonna jump in the shower really quickly because I'm super sweaty, and then I'm probably gonna head to the gym. Alrighty, so I am starting off with shoulder press today. I think I do 10 reps at 10 kilos, which I find shoulder press really hard to progress in. I've never had very strong shoulders, but I always like starting with this exercise at the beginning of my push workouts. And I try and control the reps on the way down as much as possible. And then I moved on to single arm dumbbell rows. With these, you wanna try and make sure that you're really imagining like you're trying to bring your elbow to your belly button rather than just pulling the weight straight up and down, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see there, my elbow is moving backwards. And this is me just not knowing what leg I should put forward. But I did 12 reps per each arm. Every exercise I do between eight and 12 reps and that's kind of the range that I stick to. And then I moved on to some barbell rows. I forgot what it was called for a second. I love these, especially for like my back. I find I get a lot of progress from that. And I did about eight reps. And then I moved on to some bicep curls, which I wanted to try and really control the movement, like not swing at all. And I find bicep curls really, really hard, really hard. And I also supersetted this with some lateral raises and I tried to go until failure with these. So I think I did between 12 and 15 reps just with four kilos and that was insane. about to go and attempt my second run. I don't know why I get so scared before runs. It's like I literally act like I'm about to go on a roller coaster, although I love roller coasters. But you know, like it's as if I'm about to do something so scary, but I'm literally just running. And if it gets really hard, I can just walk. I don't know if anyone else feels that, but like running just terrifies me. And I was thinking like, oh, maybe you should try and do a rest day, like run one day and then have a rest. But I think I'm just gonna try and go and maybe just say to myself, just try and do two and a half kilometers. And like, if you're not into it, just walk and that's fine. So this is the fit. These shorts are a little bit longer because I don't want to get any chafing and then this is just like the ruched sports bra and then my runners and I'm gonna put a hat on too so it's also not as early it's only 7 54 just because when I woke up I was like no it's not happening today so let's see how we go holy moly Ugh. We did 5k again. That one felt harder than the first one, but I felt better at it. Yesterday I did a shorter route, but I kind of like repeated part of it. So it didn't feel like I ran as far. Today it felt like I ran a lot further, but I didn't. Like it was the same distance. I'm so sweaty. Oh my God. I look like I'm naked. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, today I ran that in 37, 37.36 minutes. Yesterday I did it in 40 minutes. So I shaved about three minutes off my time. So I definitely went faster today and I definitely prefer running early because there's people all out and about and I'm like, don't look at me. <laughs> I hate when people watch me run. I don't know why. I just feel like I probably look so funny, but I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know whether I wanna go for a run tomorrow or maybe just do a shorter run. I think even if I feel like I can go further, I might just like try and cap it at like two and a half, three Ks or might miss it all together. I just don't wanna burn myself out and then be like, okay, I'm not gonna do it again. I literally look like I'm naked, I'm so sorry. Am I doing Pilates tomorrow morning? <laughs> Possibly. 
Alrighty, so my leg day usually goes a little something like this. I usually start out with squats. I always like to do my compound movements at the beginning and I started out with just 60 kgs and it didn't feel that great. Honestly, I felt a little bit weak today. It's funny how some days the weight can move so easily and then other days it can feel so much heavier. But I did three sets and moved up to a fairly heavy weight and then I moved on to hip thrusts. My form with hip thrusts, <laughs> hip thrusts isn't fantastic, but I really feel it in my glutes and it felt so heavy that night. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see it in my face. And then we moved on to Bulgarians, of course. I saw a TikTok once that said you should imagine like you're on an escalator. So you kind of want to go up and backwards into the box or whatever your foot is on. And you will really, really feel it in your glutes. They are painful. And I also did a quick set of leg extension, but I didn't film that. And then I finished off with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster and that was it. Good morning, it is 6.20 right now. I am currently waiting to go into a Pilates class. I'm going with Beck. There's a place in West End called Strong, which I have heaps of people I've seen have gone to. I've never done reformer Pilates, so I'm kind of interested. I am so sore though. My leg session last night was so good, so good. I also don't know if I'm meant to wear shoes or like those Pilates socks. There's parks here, but I've parked smack bang out the front and I don't know if I'm allowed to. <laughs> Let me just try and show you. Like smack bang out the front. Is that back? I will chat to you after and I'll let you know how it goes. Gymshark scoop neck sports bra, of course. And then the Adapt Reef shorts. They're not hiked up all the way because I want them to be a bit longer so I don't get any chafing. And I'm gonna shut up now and we're gonna see how we go with this one, okay? <laughs> It was definitely so much hotter than I thought it would be. It wasn't too bad at the start, but about two Ks in, it was like, yeah, it's very, very hot. I need to make sure I don't run in the heat because it's kind of dangerous, honestly. I don't know. I, I just don't think it's good for me personally to run. So I definitely need to try and stick to running really early in the morning or in the evenings. But I also can't really see myself running in the evenings. So. That was definitely my fastest run. And the, the start felt really, really good. But the last one and a half kilometers were really hard. I don't know if it was because I was trying to push myself more. I hit 4Ks at about the 30 minute mark and I kind of got excited. I was like, oh, I wonder if I can do this quickly. And I think I might've pushed a bit too hard or I just didn't, I don't know, because I was dying in that last kilometer. But I'm definitely getting better. My heart rate in the first kilometer was 153 beats per minute, which is, I think, pretty good. And then after that, it's all like 171, 176, 174. And the last kilometer was 182. So you can definitely tell I'm like pushing myself the sweat. It's interesting at the start how you kind of just cruising along and then the more you get into it, the more you kind of want to go faster because you kind of get into a rhythm and I was really, really enjoying the first two and a half kilometers and then yeah, the second half I was like, it's one, it's really hot and I'm kind of dying a little bit. So 
So that was my time. I love how I'm working this out on a calculator. So quickest time yet. That is quite a lot quicker than, yeah, 35.55. My watch told me that. I'm stupid. Why am I working this out on a... <laughs> I know everyone uses the app Strava to do running. Maybe I should do that. Again, I'm super proud of myself. That's three runs down. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Also, these shorts were so nice to run in because they didn't ride up at all. The sweat. I didn't touch my shorts once. Really, really comfy to run in. Two thumbs up. <laughs> okay, I'm out of the shower. Some of those clips, the lens is definitely smudged, so it kind of looks like there's a haze on the corners. I need to start making sure I wipe the lens down before I start filming. I do that when I take videos on my phone every single time, without a doubt. If I'm taking a photo or a video on my phone, I wipe the lens. It makes such a big difference. Anyway, I'm gonna chat to you guys about the Gymshark Black Friday sale that is happening. This is their biggest sale that they do in the year, and they don't do discount codes, so this is one of the only times that you can get things at a discount. So I'm gonna pop some photos on the screen of my personal favorite pieces that are going to be in the sale. Hands down, the first thing I'd recommend picking up is anything Adapt Animal, Adapt Reef. Those are my go-to shorts when it comes to the gym, especially if I'm going to be like running around and really just moving <laughs> because they stay in place. They're so flattering on your bum. The patterns are really cool. They have so many nice colors. They're so comfortable. The fabric is the perfect thickness where they're 100% squat proof and they're just my absolute favorite. I, they're probably my number one most worn short when it comes to the gym, which is insane because I have so much active wear. Number two for any of the sports bras, the scoop neck sports bras are probably my most worn because they're so comfortable. The neckline is gorgeous and they're just like a really nice simple classic sports bra. Really good support. There's a bunch of different colors and I also find the way the straps are made on this they don't dig into my skin at all because they're almost like padded if that makes sense. I also really love the rouge sports bras because they're super super flattering on your chest. Again really good support because they have that X at the back and, and they kind of oh my camera's dying and they really like accentuate your chest and just look so beautiful again amazing color selection and those are pretty much my go-to sports bras from Gymshark I do really love the minimal sports bras they are a little bit booby for me personally I still wear them but I love the style of them honestly they're so comfortable speaking of comfort even though we are in summer and it is so hot their rest day sweats are fabulous <laughs> they are so comfortable and they're so nice and oversized i would definitely recommend the hoodie and the joggers the joggers fit so well i am not a fan of tight or fitted joggers at all i like them to be nice and oversized and baggy i originally had these in a size medium but i got these in a size small and i think the small is just a little bit better of a fit they're still oversized and nice and baggy but just fit a bit better. They have these in grey, a cinnamon brown and a steel blue and they're all so so pretty. Another recent fave is the Vital Seamless Sports Bras with the V-neck. These ones are really nice and supportive because of the way it's structured. I have this in a medium because I think I originally got this in a small and it was just a little bit too tight for me. I love the adjustable straps and it's just a little bit different for me from what I normally wear at Gymshark so I've been really into that lately. And finally of course another like all-time classic is Vital Seamless. Anything Vital Seamless is phenomenal the shorts the leggings the like long sleeve crop which always make you look so badass <laughs> when winter comes around again i definitely want to like make an effort in wearing the long sleeves because they just look so cool anything vital seamless is always just such a like, classic go-to i have so many pairs of the leggings the shorts the pink shorts that i have in this photo are actually in a size small they're definitely less compressive but there is a little bit of excess fabric around my waist so it's almost like i'm in between an extra small and a small oh also also, Adapt Fleck. Adapt Fleck is up there with Adapt Animal and Adapt Reef. It's honestly the Adapt line. <laughs> but in particular, the, the burgundy Adapt Fleck and the pink ones. They're the kind of material where you can do the whole like shove up your bum trick and they look so good. I really, really like Adapt Fleck. I believe this video will be going up before the sale, but it might be going up when the sale is live. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave the information on the screen, but essentially the sale is going to start on the 17th of November at 9am GMT time. So 9am GMT. GMT time is 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time or 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. I will have the time zones on the screen and down below. Time zones, honestly, are the most confusing thing in the world. Up to 60% off the website. I will let you guys know on my Instagram as well with 
my camera just died. I will have my affiliate links down below. So if you do shop through those links, I do earn a small commission, which I'm super, super grateful for if you do choose to use those links. If not, that is totally fine. It essentially just lets Gymshark know that you came from me. I'm gonna end this video here. I know I only showed two gym workouts. I would have done three, except I did the Pilates workout that day. And I didn't plan on all of a sudden having the introduction of running, but that's just kind of, this is where I'm at currently, you know? Some weeks I train two days, some weeks I train six days. It's just so all over the place, especially at the moment with just life and whatnot. I didn't really want to pretend that I went, you know, this many times when I didn't. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you want me to do another one where I do maybe some more gym sessions. But I actually really liked filming this video. It was kind of fun. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!